Yeah, you're right. And I don't think you can go wrong with any of that. Moore gets that one to go. Spears, who made that bucket a second ago, is now up to 20 points, 12 of them coming in this half, and the lead is back to 21 for the Friars. Carter picks up the foul on that overplay. Just the fourth team foul. The Hoyas will trigger it in in their front court. Well, we come to a time of the year where a lot of that we take stock of what's going on in other leagues. And uh, those two conferences beyond the Big East, which I think the only thing that the Big East doesn't have that the Big 12 and Big 10 do is numbers. I mean, the Big East is deep in every respect. But you see that one fall from downtown from the zone. Another transfer out of North Augusta, South Carolina. But, you know, the top five teams in the Big East Conference, we may not see a team on um, anything better than the three line at best. And all of them can make a run off the final factory. Every one of them, yeah. Hopkins, up to just six points. It will look like a really porous performance for him, but look, he had to sit for. 16 minutes of the first half. And we let his brother in take care of the job. Primo Spears off the bounce is as good as anyone you'll see. Yeah, you can just make a case that Georgetown could take their five and play one, one against the other five. They could yeah. win a lot of games. You're so right. They, they are very talented offensively. Skilled. Very skilled. But on the defensive end is, is really... We say it all the time, it's where you win championships, and where you it's, win games. And it's a game of chemistry, and it's got to be developed within the team concept. Carter for three. Off the back hour, Moore trying to corral it, but instead it's his will that throws it out for him. Beautiful save on his part. to get the right shot. I'm still shocked that Spears didn't take that shot in the same location. Another one that's knocked away. Another turnover committed by the Flyers here. There's a winner on there. And traffic too strong. More impacted that. Threat of a rejection impacted that missed Bunny. Georgetown. When we touched on the situation that we're facing here in the second half for the Hoyas on this senior day, the last home game of the year, we touched on what needs to be done. And there's so many in this administration around the, the campus. I think a good showing by the fans here, without question. But as of this week, there are some published reports about high-profile names being in the sights of the Georgetown administration for the future. We'll have to see. Lock with a nice call out for the Friars. You know, as a player, you just you just play. You, you hear of recruits and guys coming in the next year and, and always reports of different players. As a player, you just got to play basketball. Yeah. As you know, you can't worry about what's going on upstairs. And we like to say, it's the world we live in. It's the way of the game, man. It's enough for these kids to have to deal with classes and travel, and they are young men. Even though they look like grown men, some of them, they are still young men that deal with things that 18, 19, 20 year do. As a world, we'll be at the line when we come back after the timeout. Providence in control, 80 to 61. 